Hi folks, welcome back to the Bonville. Thanks as always for your comments and requests. We've had a look at the requests since the last video and it looks like there's one clear winner. So today we're gonna to be doing a video on our top five tequila and mezcal cocktails. All right guys, no surprises. We're gonna start with the most famous tequila cocktail there is. In fact, one of the most famous cocktails, full stop, the margarita. Now you're probably sick of hearing me saying this, but the margarita, like with all the great classics, there's a thousand different ways of doing it. But as usual, we're gonna keep it simple and tasty. No funny business. This is a shake and drink. We start with our first ingredients. Freshly squeezed lime juice, 20 mils. Next up, our triple sec. 20 mils also. Little top tip here. I like a little dash of sugar syrup just to give it a bit of extra sweetness. Now our tequila, I just want to use a good quality white tequila, blanco tequila, plata tequila, it's all the same thing. Make sure it's 100% blue agave and you won't go wrong. That's it. Now, before we shake that, we're going to prepare our glass, so that's going to take a second or two. So you can either get a margarita glass or a coupette or cocktail glass. Now I like to do just a half salt rim, just in case you don't fancy a bit of salt. So we just put half the rim, get our salt. Nice big salt rim. And whilst we're there, we'll do the rest of the garnish. So just the lime wedge on the rim. All right, let's shake it up. I'm going to double strain this one. And that's it, classic margarita served up with salt. Quick bonus drink for you guys. If you want to drink a little bit longer and more refreshing than your margarita, we can turn it into a lagerita. So just shake up your margarita and instead of pouring it into a cocktail glass, we're going to take a highball full of ice. Maybe don't shake the margarita up as much as you would do normally because you don't want too much dilution then we're going to dilute it with something else and it's going over ice. You want to grab a bottle of beer, Mexican preferably, and just top it up. A bit quick mix. And that's the margarita. Next up guys, we're going to be making a twist on the margarita. This is a modern classic from San Francisco, the Tommy's Margarita. All right guys, so we're going to make the Tommy's Margarita. This version of the margarita is probably more popular in London bars at the moment than the, the classic version. Very similar. So we're starting off with the lime juice. And now instead of the triple set, we're going to use this agave syrup. So agave is a plant that tequila is made from, and now the syrup is becoming actually a very popular healthy sugar substitute. So we're using that instead. Half the amount of lime juice, 10 mils. It's pretty sweet, you don't need too much. And then our tequila, 50 mils. Okay, this one's getting served in a rock stars over ice, so just a quick shake. Rock stars. And that is it. Tommy's margarita. Next up, we're going to make a beautiful, long, refreshing drink that's very popular in Mexico, the Paloma. So you get your highball glass. Uh, what we're going to do is build the ingredients in here, give it a quick cap shake, and then finish it off. So let's start off with the uh, lime juice. Depending on how tart you like your drink, I'd say you go between 10 and 20 mils. Let's try 20. Your tequila. 50 mils. Now, all these tequila drinks, I've been using a, a white Blanco tequila. You can try a Reposado if you like, but sometimes the agave tends to be a bit overpowering and uh, we'll just dominate the drink. So we just fill that nearly to the top with ice, get your Toby, give it a little, little cap shake. Then we're going to take a grapefruit soda, Ting or any other one, I can't think of any others at the moment, and top up. Now if you can't get one of these, you can use fresh grapefruit juice and soda. Probably be a bit nicer in fact, but this is a bit more authentic. And that's it, the Paloma. So that was a few of our favorite tequila cocktails. Now we're gonna finish up with a couple of Mezcal drinks. Now a lot of customers ask, what is the difference between tequila and Mezcal? Well, the short answer is nothing. Tequila is Mezcal, but not all Mezcal is tequila. So a bit like champagne or cognac, tequila has to be produced in a very specific area of Mexico made with 100% blue agave. So Mezcal has made a bit of a resurgence in bars recently and one really popular use of it is to substitute a 
spirit in a classic cocktail with mezcal. It brings a really rich, smoky flavor to the drink. So I'm gonna show you a couple of versions of this. We're gonna start off with a mezcal old fashioned. Grab your mixing glass. Full of ice. So we're gonna bring back the agave for this one as a sweetener. 10 mils. And we're gonna use chocolate bitters. Angusura would be all right as well, but we'll just make it a bit more interesting and use some chocolate bitters. Now we just need our mezcal, 50 mils of that. Give it a stir. Check that for dilution. Get your rocks glass full of ice. You can that with a lime wedge or orange peel would be nice as well. And there you have mezcal old fashioned. All right, last but not least, we're gonna make a mezcal Negroni, sometimes known as a smoky Negroni. So it's another stirred drink. Get some glass full of ice. And so for this, we're gonna need classic Negroni ingredients, uh, sweet vermouth and Campari. And then instead of the gin, we're gonna use mezcal. So we'll start with the sweet vermouth. Now, you can use whatever measurements you like here. I'd go advise between 20 to 25 mil. But the important thing is that they're all equal. You can play around with it a little bit if you want, but I'd start with all equal measures and go from there. So 25 Punta Mez, or any sweet vermouth. 25 Campari. And 25 Mezcal. Give that a stir. For dilution. Remember guys, whenever you stir a drink, it's not a set amount of times you need to stir it. It depend, all depends on your ice, what drink you're making. So just check for dilution before you serve the drink and then you know you'll be right. Again, rocks glass full of ice and strain it in. We're gonna garnish this one with a big orange twist. And there's the smoky Negroni. So those are our favourite tequila and Mexico drinks. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to do whiskey next, as we've had a few requests of that. But please keep your suggestions coming in for future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Tequila. 50 mils. <laughs> <laughs>